All right, so I'm gonna get this thing started. Um, we're gonna roll through our new nutrition goals feature. This is an installable package on Coach Me Plus. So if you don't have it right now, you can reach out to Mike Z or myself. We can get that installed for you um, after this call here to give it a shot, try it out, see if you like it or not. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, it allows you to go ahead and jump into Coach Me Plus and set individual nutrition goals, meal recommendations um, by building out meals or just by calories per meal, whatever it may be. Um, and you can also edit day by day. So I'm gonna share my screen and I am going to go ahead and get this thing rolling here. So um, we'll save all questions for the end if you guys have any, just so we can get through this, uh, this video. But I'm gonna get started here by showing you guys how to set individual targets for individual athletes. Um, from my coach's home screen, what I can do to jump into that is I can select any of my athletes here from my widgets, or I can go right to manage your athlete and grab somebody from here. Uh, so I'm just going to grab Lincoln Burroughs. And once I'm on his athlete page, I can go right to his nutrition section. And if I don't have any goals set yet for a user, it's going to let me know. They have no nutrition targets set, which will allow you to jump on in and set those targets from here. So if I hit set targets, It'll bring me to the first screen. What we have is three different methods for setting calorie targets. You can do a manual input, which is just you pick the number of calories you want them to be taking in throughout the day. If you have a different calculator you use out of, outside of Mifflin St. Jour, uh, you can use the manual method and type in your calories and edit the sliders. Otherwise, we have just the BMR calculator to estimate a user's basal metabolic rate based on height, weight, age, and sex. You can also add in the activity level multiplier, um, which is going to be sedentary, lightly active, moderately, very, or extremely active. And it's going to give you, if you select that, it's going to tell you exactly what that means underneath it. So hard daily exercise or physical job or two times per day training. So it's pretty crazy. I'm going to go right in the middle here, just moderately active for this example. And then I'm going to type in the height and weight in centimeters and kilograms. We'll give them an age and a gender. Once I'm happy with those settings, I hit calculate calories and away we go. This populates that top line with the estimate based on basal metabolic rate plus the activity level multiplier. So it gives them an average of 3,461 calories per day. What I can do there is I can either click and drag the sliders here to select how much of each macronutrient I want them to have. I can also leave a blank if I just want to set a calorie target. But for this example, I'm just going to go with 35%. 35% and 30% just to keep it simple. Um, so once I'm happy with that, with my sliders of my macronutrient breakdown, I'll hit the save button. It's going to update those targets. Once that's saved, it, you're going to allow, it's going to allow you to have a next option. So you can manage per meal macros if you want. So if I select that screen, what I can do is it allows you to get even more custom with the user. So maybe they're somebody that's heavy on snacks and you want to give them more calories for snacks throughout the day. Or, you know, maybe you want them to have a bigger breakfast and something like that. So we can hit that up. Um, we can go with that split. We'll go with 20%. All right. So we've got that 100% all split up. If you do slide, it will auto adjust once you hit 100% of everything. Um, just so you know, so you can, it's kind of like a fail safe. But if you edit something below that 100%, it will not, just so you know there. So I'm um, just going to go to a basic. Split here, they like some snacks, will go 20% of their daily calories. And then again, once I hit save, I get brought to another screen where if I wanted to, I can manually adjust the number of grams of each macronutrient per meal. I can leave it as is, but maybe you want their dinner calories to be higher in protein. So maybe you want them to have 80 grams of protein. Um, so that'll bring them down to 66 you know, grams of carbs and it auto adjusts the calories and everything like that. You can do that. And then from there, what you can grab is hit the save button. And the last step of this, this is getting into the nitty gritty here, is you can actually go and make meal suggestions for the user. So say you have a specific meal that you want to build them out, say for lunch, um, you hit the plus button and it's going to give you three circles that you can know as you add foods to this, it's going to populate those with your macronutrient totals. If I hit the plus in here, I can then go ahead and start adding food. So say we're just going to go with a very basic lunch recommendation for this athlete of some chicken breast. We can edit that serving size. So if I can go by ounces, I'm going to give them, say, eight ounces of that chicken breast. 
And from there, we'll jump in and we'll throw some rice at them. Just a very, you know, pretty typical, we'll go one cup of rice, the chicken, the rice, and you should know what's next, the broccoli. We'll add in the broccoli and we'll give them a full cup of that as well. And then you can see I'm over on the protein. I'm doing pretty good. I'm under on the carbs and fat. Maybe I can say, you know, you can saute that chicken in some olive oil. That'll up the fat content for the meal. You can add however many different pieces of food if you like. You don't necessarily have to fill all the circles for them to hit that target. You can if you want, if you want to be exact with it. But for now, I'm just for this example's sake, I'm just going to go ahead and save that meal, the basic lunch suggestion. And what happens with those meal suggestions is if this user, and I'll show you their side in a minute here, if this user goes in to log meals for that lunch, that meal suggestion is going to populate for them. So they don't have to grab the different aspects of the meal. You basically created a recipe for them. They can click on it and add it to their nutrition much quicker than, than you did, basically. So you did the work for them in this. And then I'll just make sure it's all saved and good to go. The last thing I'll show you from the coach's side of things is just so you know, on this athlete, now that their nutrition targets are set, what you can do is hit a drop down and see where they are today so far of their macro targets. You can manage the targets for the day if you'd like. Um, and then what you can also do is you don't want every day to be the same. If you want to be, you know, training days are going to be the 3,461 calorie target, but maybe off days you want them eating less calories. You can jump out of here, and since this is a new feature for now, it's going to be right in the testing to add day-by-day -day calorie recommendations and macro recommendations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my training group for this and select the test, and it's going to be right under Nutrition Daily Goals. So you can see it auto-populated from my uh, estimate for my calculator in the front end there um, for today, for August 31st. If I don't touch this, it'll just automatically carry over day by day in the nutrition module. If I want to, however, say today they're working out, but tomorrow on Friday the 1st, they're not working out. So I'm gonna go less calories and we can hit it up from there, um, giving them a different recommendation. Uh, let's say, so 2,800 calories, if we're abiding by the 35% still, we'll go 245. 23 and 245 again. Cool. We're good. We save that. And then the next day that athlete's going to see that they have different nutrition targets to hit. It's going to reflect right within that nutrition module for them. Um, so jumping back to the home screen, you can see I've already set everything up. The last thing I'm going to run through really quickly on this nutrition module um, is going to be what the athlete sees on their side. So I'm going to go ahead and impersonate Lincoln Burroughs really quick. That's who we set those goals for. So now as the athlete on my home page, I'm jumping in with the eye on Lincoln Burroughs. I'll hit my nutrition so I can see what I'm doing with my tracking. And I can see as Lincoln, here's my macro targets for the day. Here's how I'm doing so far. Um, but if I'm going to come in here for lunch and I want more than just uh, one green bean, I can go ahead and hit add food. And I can see my coach built, my dietitian built suggested lunch meals of my chicken, rice, and broccoli. I click it and it auto populates there for me. So you can see it builds the list and it will reflect up in my upper calories as well as my macro targets started to get a little bit more filled in so I can continue to track how I'm doing for my day so far. Um, so that auto populates and it's nice and simple. Um, otherwise, if you want to, you know, say they want to add other foods into their day as they're going just one off instead of using meal suggestions, um, they can come on in. Oops. They want a five star rating. Get out of my way. All right, eggs. And say I ate two of them. If I hit the check mark, it adds to my meal. And you can see that the circles will reflect that I added eggs into my day. It'll reflect whatever the macronutrients are, though, of that. I can show the details to see what I just added. Um, and I'm good to go from there. So it's really simple from the athlete's point of view. Uh, they just basically have different trackers. They set the goals for them to hit throughout the day of protein, carbs, and fat, and away they go, um, and they're good from there. So 
that is really it with the new nutrition goals calculator, the nutrition goals estimator. Um, again, you can do manual entry, basal metabolic rate calculations, and you can also do um, basal metabolic rate with an activity level multiplier um, for the daily recommendation there. So uh, the floor is yours now, guys. If you have any questions on this, let me know.